guys welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome to another video in today's video i'm going to be giving you all a luxury fragrance haul review whatever you want to call it okay so i have six of my top luxury perfumes so these are not in any particular order out of these six i do have like my top three or four that are like my absolute 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 favorite um, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. I have my notebook here. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. But anyway, so let's hop into this video. So the first perfume, ooh, my battery's about to die. One second, let me change my battery, y'all. Oh, great. Goodness gracious. So back to our regularly programmed schedule. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, you guys, if the light changed a little bit, I had to change out my batteries and I was just touching things. Moving forward. Um, so the first perfume I want to talk to you guys about is Alien Goddess by Mugla. Okay, so this, well, first of all, let's get into this bottle because it's so pretty. Like, can you guys see that? So pretty. Um, so let me get into the style and the notes because I don't want to ramble because I can do that. I do. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, so the style is floral. The notes, the top note is sparkling Italian bergamot. The middle note is Indian jasmine and the base note is Madagascan vanilla. Yo, this perfume has vanilla written all over it. Like it just smells like vanilla. It smells so good though. The only thing I don't really like about this perfume is on my skin, this perfume does not last at all. <laughs> like. I don't even think it lasts like a good hour on my skin it'll probably be like a good 30 or so minutes but like I'm the type of person when I wear my fragrance I want to be able to smell it like for the entire day like I don't I don't want it to you know like kind of wear off so this one definitely don't last long um I do wear this perfume like an everyday daytime perfume like I'll just spray it on I'm running errand or something like I'll just spray this on but the longevity of this perfume it ain't there okay for me it's not there for me so yes this is the first one again these are not in any particular order now i do have my top three or four but i'll let you guys know the next fragrance i want to talk to you guys about this is like a part of my top three or four um this is probably number three maybe so this is the Donna Born in Roma by Valentino. Yo, this is how much I love this perfume. Like it's almost empty. Like when I say I've been killing this perfume, but granted I, I've had this for maybe like two years now. So I give myself a pat on the back. I've been doing good. Um, But yeah, so the style for this perfume is floral woody. Um, the top notes are black currant accord, bergamot essence the middle notes are jasmine grinniform absolute um jasmine simbag absolute and jasmine tea now the base note for this is bourbon vanilla cashmerian guac guac i'm killing this name um guac <laughs> wood essence forgive me y'all like i am killing these names don't come for me okay like yeah <laughs> um so yeah so this smells so good like i remember i wore this to work one time and i walked past this lady she was like oh my gosh you smell so good granted i mean i would smell good everybody would tell me i smell good like whatever but <laughs> um yeah so she was like oh my gosh you smell so good like what are you wearing and i told her valentino born in roma um but yeah so this is my top this is like number three in my top four. Yeah, Born in Roma and Valentino. So the next fragrance I have, this is like my number two in my top four. Um, This one, like before I even show you guys what it is, like the projection of this perfume is amazing. Like I would literally wear this perfume like wherever I put my clothes after wearing it, like if I put in a hamper or if I wear a coat and I hang the coat up, y'all you like as soon as you open the laundry door whatever closet door whatever like 
that's the only thing you would smell like you would smell this perfume and this is Aventis for her by Creed y'all this perfume oh my gosh like it literally lasts all day on me and that's what I absolutely love I want when I wear my fragrance I don't want to be the only one smelling it like I want you to smell it too like if you walk past me I should be like oh dang you smell good like even like if I had it on like all day I still want to be able to smell good and this is what that gives like it gives that the projection is just amazing the style is a floral fruity the notes are the top notes are Egyptian green apple pink berries Indonesian patchouli Italian bergamot um, the middle notes are Bulgarian rose Turkish rose Indian sandalwood Styrax musk killing the names um, the base note is sweet peach this is lilac amber and ling ling yeah um so these are the notes um again y'all oh it's like as soon as you open a box as soon as you open a bottle and you just kind of take a a whiff it just uh it smells so good like i creed you did your thing man i love it and you don't honestly even have to spray a lot like with this one less is more yeah i love it this is number two out of my top four okay so the next fragrance i have is replica jazz club by maison margella this is one fragrance i feel like everybody has everybody have either jazz club or by the fireplace or there's another one i forgot and i think i want to try that one but this one smells really good like this is another everyday perfume that i will wear but i'll wear this at nighttime because it's like it just kind of smells so dark but i will wear this during the nighttime so the style for this one is is woody and spicy the top notes are pink pepper prom fure lemon um neroli oil the middle note is rum absolute clary sage oil java vetiver oil and the base note is tobacco leaf absolute vanilla bean and styrax reason killing these names bro <laughs> um so yes this again is another everyday favorite of mine that i wear at nighttime I love it if you like like tobacco scent like if you if you like stuff that smells like tobacco you'll like this one because it definitely has tobacco in it um so yeah it smells really good my number one out of my top four is drum roll please so it is gentle fluidity the one the gold bottle gentle fluidity by maison francis curtisjean mfk um I know if y'all I know you guys have seen this because everybody talks about this this is like this is like perfection in the bottle yo I cannot explain and express to you guys how much I love this perfume like oh my gosh it smells so good if you guys have not smelled this or tried this I definitely recommend you guys try it because it smells absolutely amazing like it just smells so pretty like i just feel so pretty when i have this on right like it, just, it smells so good so the style is fresh it's definitely it definitely is fresh um the notes are juniper berries nutmeg uh coriander um musk ambery woods and vanilla you can definitely smell the vanilla in this also but it just smells so good and funny story about vanilla like when i was younger i did not like vanilla fragrance like i don't know like i just it it wasn't my thing like I, I didn't like it but now the fact that i'm a grown woman i absolutely love it like it smells so good so yes i definitely recommend gentle fluidity like if you have not tried this please try it again this is the gold bottle now they do have the silver bottle i went in um because i get all my fragrance from sax so i went to sax and i went to get this specifically it was this one and the silver one so i tried the silver one 
it smelled good but this gold one baby it smells amazing so i absolutely love the gold bottle so last but not least my last fragrance is the house of bond so this is greenwich village by bond number nine let me just show you guys this packaging because i got the limited edition and it's so pretty you guys like just look at it oh my gosh now for this limited edition i pay an extra 40 dollars for this okay like but i'm just like it's so pretty like i want it so let me show you guys what the um bottle looks like y'all how pretty again the rhinestone going on right here uh, but anyway let's let's get into the fragrance so the style is oriental vanilla with a touch of light floral okay um the notes are cases cases um leche mandarin peony yo there's a reason i like this because my favorite flowers are peonies like i love peonies and this definitely have it in there um water lily patchouli jasmine petals ambrox peach musk vanilla oak moss and praline y'all i noticed a pattern with my um, my fragrances like it's like you know there's some that have patchouli florals fruity scents so i noticed that pattern um so yes, y'all, this perfume smell, like when you smell it, it's, it kind of like have a sweet scent to it. Like it just smells so sweet. And let me tell you guys this little story about how I got this um, perfume. So I went to Saks again, um, <laughs> and I actually went there to get Tribeca, right? So I went there and I was like, yeah, I want to smell Tribeca. And the lid was like, okay, cool. So she sprayed you know she spray on the little tester testing paper and i was like oh my gosh it smells so good yes i want to get it i want that i want that one yes i want it <laughs> um and then she was like okay do you want to spray it on your um on your wrist and i was like yeah so spray it on my wrist and i smell it and i was like i wasn't trying to say it out too loud but i'm like why does it smell like piss on my wrist y'all it smells so bad on my wrist and I tried so hard to like it. I was like, maybe let me just, you know, like, because sometimes when you spray a fragrance, you have to kind of give it some time to really, like, settle in your skin. So I was like, well, maybe let me just wait a little bit and see how it smells. Mm, no, it smelled like straight up strong piss on my wrist. And I'm like, no, 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 because I really wanted it. So I'm like, okay, that's not going to work. She was like, well, why don't you smell this one? It's like, okay, let me smell it. And she did say um, Greenwich and Tribeca had the same base note, so you know. So I was like, okay, let me smell it. So I smell it, spray it on my wrist, smell it, and I was like, okay, I can, I can do this. And it actually smelled really good. So sometimes your body chemistry, like your, it just, I don't know, it just. So when you go and try to purchase a perfume, before you purchase it, make sure you spray it on your wrist or something, just to see how it reacts to your body chemistry. Like it was. I couldn't do it. Tribeca, not for me. But um, yeah, this one I absolutely love it. Um, it is spelled like Greenwich Village, but it's actually pronounced Greenwich. Um, yes. So this is like my number four. So okay, let me give you guys my top four. So number one was um Gentle Fluidity by Mason Francis Curtisjean MSK. Um, my number two was Creed. My number three was Born in Roma by Valentino. And then in Greenwich Village is my number four. So yes, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. Let me know which one of these you would like to try. Um, don't forget to check the description box down below. I will put the names of these perfumes in there. So make sure you check that. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!